Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do the FabFitFun unboxing. This is gonna be the winter one. I know I'm like really late, but I've just like not had a lot of time to film. So we're getting to it now. So if you're not familiar with what FabFitFun is, it is a seasonal subscription box. It is $50, but you're supposed to get over like 300 something dollars worth of product. And it can be like makeup, hair care, skincare, lifestyle, anything like that. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in. So normally, since I am a yearly or like annual member, I get to pick more items than normal. But for some reason, I just completely forgot to do it this time. So all of these products were actually picked by them. They got some of them right. You know, there's some of them that I would have picked, but some of them were like really wrong. So that was, that was my fault. So this box was definitely not as good as normal, but like I said, that's my fault. So the very first product is one that I was actually, you know, going to pick. It is the Mobile White Advanced Teeth Whitening Kit. And I'm actually really excited about this because it is the one that has like this blue light. And I feel like my teeth are getting a little yellower than usual. And because I like rarely ever whiten my teeth, I just have like a whitening toothpaste. And this is what it comes with. You get three syringes, the mouthpiece, and this charger, I guess. But. And this product is worth $89.99. So this is a really good value. Um, you know, pays more than the box, uh, or is worth more than the box. So that's good because, you know, if I was gonna just get some type of teeth whitening thing, I'd probably, you know, most of them are about 50 bucks anyways or more, so. This kind of made it for made it for me for the box. I'll put but. the picture up here of all the things that you could have got. So the first one is the Very Rally Compact Organizer, and that one's worth $50. There is an Unhide Little Marshmallow Blanket, and that's worth $65, which is a lot for a blanket. Bombspi, something like that. Sloan Champagne Flutes, and there's a set of four of those. Those are worth $51. Hmm, interesting. And then the next one is the Summer and Rose Cozy Robe. That one's worth $70. That's insane. For a bathrobe, I don't know. I guess I just don't use bathrobes, so it doesn't really matter to me. And then the, the very bottom is the Kate Spade New York Rise and Shine Stud Earrings. And there's two sets, and those are worth $68, which, I mean, I guess they are Kate Spade. but. And then the last one was the Teeth Whitening Kit that I got. All right, so this next one is definitely not what I would have picked, but I don't really know what I would have picked out of this group, but I got the Lucky Moran Solid Brushed Scarf, and this is worth $69.50, which is insane, because it's just like a standard scarf with some like fringe at the bottom. It's not an infinity scarf like I like, it's just like this regular one. But, I mean, I'll use it. Or I can give it to my mom, maybe. Hmm. I don't know, mom, do you need one of these? <laughs> so, I don't know. These are Lily Pulsar like, ceramic mugs. There's a set of two, and those are super cute. They're worth $42. So, I don't know if I would have gotten those. I probably would have gotten those just because they're so cute. And then the Cotaly Vinosource Moisturizing Sorbet. That one's worth $39. I have tried that before and I do not like that one. It is, it's more for normal to like oily skin and I have extremely dry skin. As you can see that I am peeling still under here. Just a little update, still peeling. And so that one is more of like a gel to watery kind of moisturizer. The Murad Rapid Collagen Infuser or infusion this one is worth $78 so if I didn't already have this one then I probably would have picked this one because it's supposed to have like collagen and amino acids and it's supposed to help with like the look of fine lines and wrinkles but or if I knew if I had actually gone to try that one yet and I knew I liked it then I probably would have picked that one and then you could let's see the next one is the Algenis complete eye renewal balm that one's worth $68 which looks really good. I don't know, maybe I would have picked, if I didn't have like three years worth of eye creams, might have picked that one. 
And the last one is the Impressions Vanity Company LED Vanity Mirror. So I definitely don't need one of these just because I have like a little mirror that I use in front of my like big Hollywood mirror you know, with the light bulbs and stuff like that. So I probably wouldn't have gotten that one. For the next one, I ended up getting the Lily Sadoe Maroon Velvet Headband. And I mean, yes, it's really cute, but this thing is supposed to be worth $49. And I don't know, I don't think it's worth $49. It kind of looks a little cheaply made to me. I don't know. Um, but cause it's not velvet all the way around. It does have like a little headband on the inside. I don't know, but I don't know. I feel like these ones with the knots on the top just look kind of funny but definitely not worth $49. So you got to pick, let's see, that one or the Dr. Brandt Skin Care Pore Dermabrasion. And I have one of these already. It's just like a micro dermabrasion and I like it. It's good. Uh, let's see, that one is worth $58. So if you needed a good scrub, which I have, like I'm going through one right now and then I probably have at least three or four on backup. So I don't need any of those. Let's see, or you got to get the Dr. Brandt Skin Care Pores No More Pore Purifying Cleanser. You guys know I already have years worth of cleanser, so I don't need that one, but that one is worth $36, which is a good high-end, you know, skin care, ah, which is a good high-end uh, cleanser for $36. And then, I don't know, I might have picked, if I were going to choose, I would pick either of these two next one. Um, the Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice Eyeshadow Palette. It's worth $45 and it looks good. It's got a lot of neutrals, which I usually always go for neutrals, but I did go for a little bit of like pink and sparkles today. And the one that I probably would have gotten is the Ilia Beauty Limitless Lash Mascara. And that one is worth $28, which is you know, a bit much. That's high end pricing for mascaras right there, but I definitely want to try it or would have tried that one because that one looks really good. Okay. The next section, I don't know. I mean, I might've picked these, but they're socks. <laughs> so, um, these are, they're from Kate Spade. They're the New York, um, workout socks and they're a set of two. And of course they have a cute little thing right there emblem. And then they have that grippy thing on the bottom. But what's weird is they like don't have a top to them. So this would be perfect if it didn't have this part, then it would be perfect to wear with like flats, you know, that you like don't really wanna wear like no socks or something, but you don't wanna wear like pantyhose or like footies with. So like, I don't know. It says that they're supposed to be, they have grip on the bottom for traction and an open design for comfort and breathability. And apparently they're workout socks. So I'll put these to the test tomorrow and see, see how they work. And I'll let you guys know. Um, those ones are worth $24. So it's a lot for two pairs of socks. And then the next one you could have picked was the Tula Skincare Rose Glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm. And it says that you can, it's worth $30. It says you can energize and awaken the under eye area or use it to highlight on your cheekbones or your cupid's bow for an instant glow. Um, I feel like if you could use it as a highlight, then it's gonna look weird on your under eye. But I don't know, that's just me. And then you could have picked the Muck Luxe cabin socks which those look really comfy so i don't know maybe i would have picked i probably would have picked those ones and those ones are worth 25 dollars. the vora hair care i'm probably not saying that right <laughs> rhythm of the rain hair mask and scalp detox so this one's interesting it's got natural butters oils and botanicals um, to work and restore the scalp health while infusing locks with vital nutrients so i don't know this one sounds pretty good too this one is worth $28 because I think I have like four more masks or so. Maybe I have a little bit more and then I will have to purchase one. So we'll see. All right, for the next section, I definitely would have not picked what they gave me. Um, they gave me these e -pair, e pair cutting board set of four. 
little cutting boards. Interesting. Definitely wouldn't have picked these, but I mean, I guess I'll use them. Uh, let's see. These ones are worth $19.95. It comes with, like I said, four of them. And then you could have gotten that, or this is what I probably would have picked. The Butanic Beauty Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. Those ones are worth $25. And those ones look pretty good. It looks like there's like five of them in there. And they are hyaluronic acid infused. And you just put them underneath your eyes to, you know, hydrate and reduce any puffiness. So those ones sound pretty good. And then the last one, let's see, is the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Dry Shampoo Powder. Now, I've tried their dry shampoo, their regular, like, spray and aerosol can, and I did not like that. Epic fail. So, I probably wouldn't have picked this one just because of that other one. The next section, um, I probably would have picked something else. Um, this is the, I got the Wish Lip Scrub in Vanilla Bean, and this one is worth $20. And I just have a lot of lip scrubs, so that's why I probably wouldn't have picked this. But that is what that one looks like. And I just have a lot of lip scrubs, like I said. So I probably would have actually picked the Paradox Lucky Stars Blemish, Blemish Patches because you always need, like, for your little friend right here, you always need some. Um, those ones are worth $18, and they're cute little stars. And then the last one is the Below the Belt Croc Card Case, which I definitely would have not picked that one. The next two products are ones that they always pick for you. And this one they got right. <laughs> um, I got this group of little scrunchies. They're like little cheetah prints. And I'm definitely glad I got this one. These ones are the Noir Jewelry Ombre Leopard Scrunchies. So leopard. And these are worth $25. Um, so I can always use more scrunchies, you know, I like this one a lot. I think that'll go good with my hair. And then the other one is the Daily Concepts Daily Facial Dry Brush, which is worth $20, which, I mean, I guess I would, I could have used that to exfoliate some of this dry skin I have. All right. And then the very last thing, I got the London Town Get Well Nail Recovery. And it's supposed to nourish your nails with a blend of alpha hydroxy acids and vitamin B5 and C. And this one's worth $20. Little packaging, pretty cute. Um, I don't really take a lot of care of my nails. Like I just go and get them done, get the gel nails. So I probably wouldn't have picked this. Um, also I have like two more like kind of cuticle oil thingies that I don't really use. So I might end up passing that along. I don't know yet. But that one, like I said, is $20. And the one that I probably would have picked is the Phase Zero Makeup Making Moves Blusher. And that one's worth $27.50. It just looks like a really pretty kind of peachy nude with a little bit of shimmer to it blush and it looks like it's pretty good size as well so i probably would have picked that one then the other one is the aesthetica liquid eyeliner and that one's worth 21 dollars. and lord knows i have enough black eyeliner so I, I wouldn't have picked that one but you know it's not a bad choice okay so the total for my box ended up being 317 dollars and 44 cents which is really great they always get an amazing deal um and i mean now that i'm looking back at it i don't think it was such a terrible box than i like originally thought it was gonna be because i mean i can always use some more socks or just pass them on i love scrunchies this i could probably do without but we'll try it out and then of course the teeth whitening one is awesome and this cutting board yeah you know, I guess I could probably use some more. And then I could have done without both of these lip scrub. I end up, I might end up just passing this one on or putting it in a giveaway as well as this nail thing. So anyways, still a really good deal for 50 bucks. I think I'm going to keep it. I was debating on whether or not I should cancel it or not, but I think I ended up I have the annual subscription. So I need to look to see when I actually pay for that because if not, if I like just paid for it, then I have a whole another year's worth of packages anyways. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you my add-ons that I got for this time. So I ended up getting this Zoe Ala, something like that. 
uh, little brush set. So I got this detangling brush, which I've already used, as you can see, and it's super cute. It's got this like rose gold type of packaging. It's just a good detangling brush that I like to use in the shower. But it also came with these three little scrunchies, which are great just for, I mean, they're great for just throwing your hair up. And then, oh, we got one of these for free. A little kind bar. Um, and then I got some more of my uni shower sheets. These are great for like on the go. If you need to like just freshen up or like after the gym or you're running late and you really just need to freshen up, you know, they're always good. So I got ended up getting these like I think more than half price. So I think I go through one of these maybe about once a year. So I don't use them all the time. They only have 15, no, 12 of them in there, but they are biodegradable wipes. So I don't feel as bad about using them. I'm like super crooked, <laughs> but uh, definitely just good for those uh -oh moments. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys thought with what you got. Did you really like it? Did you not? Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.